take the we call the swing earl, uh, which is right for electro adaptive reactive lacing. Um, I'm the designer of this shoe, um, the, the primary designer. I think it actually touched by a lot of people. And uh, here we have Tiffany Gears, who is our project manager and also the lead developer and engineer on this shoe. Uh, I'd like for Tiff Tiffany to talk a little bit about what the, how this shoe you got. Yeah, so it's been a long process to make this perfect. You know what happens when you take two Nike performance technologies and you add adaptive automatic fit in Pearl. We take the Nike Flywire, which we first saw at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, and we took performance Nike B, which you see in Jordan Golf and Basketball. We kind of combine those together with a lace engine that kind of gives you precision on the fly control of your fit. You're running, you don't like your laces, you press the button. It's Right? So these happen to be size 10. If there's anybody interested in trying it on, we would love to get you. Come on over. We'll have time for one on one. So how they work is he's going to step into it, it'll automatically tighten, it'll fit to his foot, and then he can press plus or minus to continue adjusting it. So uh, there's a little bit of a design story we, uh, that kind of goes along with the technology. We are first and foremost a performance technology company. We are trying to help athletes perform better, have a safer and longer career, or uh, help people in the fitness world just do what they love to do. Um, but on top of that, the storytelling and the design of this midsole is uh, is actually inspired by the. Uh, a Pixar movie uh, and a character in that movie, and her name is Eve, and she's a she's a flying robot. And in the future, uh, and in the bottom of the outsole is actually inspired by another robot by the name of Wally. The name of the movie, and Wally actually is a little bit of an older style robot and has a kind of tread like tape like mobility uh, to it. And so the tread on the bottom of the shoe is really very much Wally. And uh, that sort of made us think that we could name this, give this shoe a name that was really an acronym for the technology. Talk about the kinetic Yeah, well, what do you think? How's it feel? Yeah. Is it super snug? Yeah. 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 super snug in the right places. Awesome. It took a long time to develop this project with a lot of athletes getting their feedback, making sure it was balanced and consistent. Is there anyone else that likes to try it on? We have Tony here, our Vice President of Flag Innovation, and we'll talk to you about yeah. 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 This is yeah. a product that's specifically made for other yeah. companies. Like uh, we mentioned before, you know, we've actually been uh, working on this particular project for 10 years. Um, it was fun to work on the drawings, it was fun to kind of think about the future, um, but it really in the end is just a lot of grinding hard work, and we have a huge team of people that have spent a lot of time on this. And I'm here to tell you that uh, this is just the first, this is the first generation of a, of a fully adaptable shoe. And so there are many more shoes in the works, um, the 2.0s and 3.0s. So a lot more is coming. And this shoe will be available at the end of this calendar year. We, we don't have a date yet, and, uh, but, but we know that uh, our factory is ready to produce and be be able to buy these shoes sometime toward the end of this calendar year. So.